Welcome to one of the coolest job sites you're gonna see. We wanna welcome you today, as you can hear, to our team working on a custom Coach House 56 out here in Duval, Washington. We're gonna show you a little bit about how we build with this construction style, how they set these posts, a little bit about what they're setting on, and the steps that they need to take to bring that all together. All right, so we're gonna start off by showing you how we set these posts up to be lifted up high into the sky with our reach fork with some custom gear that we have. Let's take a look. So there's a few different ways that you can support a post like this one to get it set on to what we call our knife plates that are down here below. What we've realized and what we've learned over time is that what you're looking at today is darn near a commercial construction site. And so you're seeing posts that are S4S dug for timbers. They're 34 feet long. These weigh hundreds of pounds. And so for safety, instead of just chaining a post like you might with typical pole barn construction, the difference here is that we actually have custom rigging that allows us to keep this safe and ensure positive lock on that post for the entire time it's in the sky. So to do that, what we do is actually drill a hole into the top six inches or so of these posts. It's part of the post that you're not gonna need. It gets cut off and we're actually using a long bolt that goes through that and it's chained off on either side. So what this means is that that post, even if it's sitting on the ground, will always be locked in. Whereas with the chain, once you release that weight, it begins to ease and you have a risk of that post falling over. This allows us to have ultimate control on the post, also for it to act as about a 30 foot plumb bob so that we have an easier time setting that onto its custom base below, getting it braced off and ready for the next step. This post and beam style of construction means that we need to use something called a knife plate or similar, a saddle, to set these posts on top of this slab foundation in order for it to have something to hang on to. So what that means is these, hence the name, act like a knife that protrude into the bottom of the post and then three steel dowels go through the post, through this plate, and allow it to be held into place. These are anchored in, whether with J bolts or a different style of anchor bolt, into this slab. There's a big footing beneath it. And what it means is that this has a substantial footing below to take the download or the axial load on the post. And these dowels keep it from having any uplift to give it some extra shear strength. These plates are actually custom made for barn pros due to the fact that we have custom sizes with our posts and we want to make sure that you have the tightest fit possible and have a nice looking piece of hardware in your home garage. The single biggest difference between our standard post and beam style of construction and when you hear us say posts out of the ground. What that means is this. This is a premium S4S Douglas fir timber that are very hard to come by. Barn Pros is able to buy these mill direct on your behalf to deliver you the promises that we do. The reason you can use a post like this one is that our standard construction, as I say, is in the ground. There's literally a big hole. You have a post like this one, but pressure treated, four feet under encased in concrete. When we pull the posts up out of the ground and set them on these knife plates, we're able to move to something that's non-pressure treated, hence these timbers, and allow you to have a much prettier accent or really centerpiece within your home, barn, or your shop. So as you can see, the guys are out here rolling today, getting the rest of these posts set for this custom Coach House 56 out here in Duval. We're really excited about this project, and we're also excited to bring you more job sites like this one. Thanks for coming along.